Hello everybody and welcome back to Nexus TV. This is going to be map 2 of the Prague Challenge 2013 final. Here live on Nexus TV. I'm Kyanite and this is Nexus versus Nostalgie. Map number 2 on D Mirage. Or CPL Strike as referred to by many source and 1.6 players. Quite simply due to the fact that it used to be called CPL Strike. Anyways, Nexus obviously won the first map as Husey gets that first kill with uh, what is uh, an arguably overpowered Glock on that A bomb site and the Nexus start making their way now. Kenny S in jungle takes down Rattlesnake with a lovely bullet to uh, Rattlesnake's cranium. One of the CTs as well spotted in CT spawn. Husey elsewhere on the map making it four versus three thanks to that lovely Glock of his. Kenny S with number two for himself and an Nexus they're going to have to try and get the bomb down now. The problem is, I think the bomb is actually down on the floor. Actually, no, it's on Hoods G's back. Hoods G goes down, so that is bomb down. And now three versus two, and it's not looking good for a Nexus at the moment. MX is going to have to try and flank the CTs. He's making sure none of them are near connector, and down he goes. And Kenny gets number three for himself. Oh my god, did they kill Kenny? No, they didn't. He was the one. Demolishing in Exis. So 1 0 to Nostalgia, and the comeback begins as far as they're concerned. This Nexus side obviously needs no introduction, particularly if you've been watching Nexus TV throughout all of the Prague Challenge. As for Nostalgia, well, they're not actually a team, they're more of a mixed side. Consisting of two Team LDLC players, meaning they're French. Taz and Neo, both Polish, I believe. Both play for ESC Gaming. Rattlesnake gets tagged on his foot. However, where are the rest of the terrorists? Release and Co are near B. And um, obviously, Taz and Neo playing for ESC Gaming. Play with the likes of Pasha. And Overdrive is the player who uh, a lot of people have been asking questions about. And quite simply, he's a Russian 1.6 player who has decided he wants to give Counter-Strike Global Offensive a shot and uh, he's in a LAN final, so fair play to him. So Kenny S gets um, the first kill for the round, usually hanging around near the A bomb site. He's going to get shot at and he's going to get taken down. Ooh, a quick round there from Nostalgia. I think Overdrive got three kills, so well played Overdrive. We were just talking about him, but give him a FAMAS and it looks like he's getting the hang of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Particularly with that Famas in his hand. So 2 0 Nostalgia. Obviously, Anexis only had blocks last round, quite simple to, to the, due to the fact that they lost the pistol round. So uh, that's just how the economic call cool system works in Counter Strike, which, uh, you know, we talk about quite a lot. Um, so if you're unsure how the economical cool system works in competitive Counter Strike, well, look it up. Anyways, let's have a look at how Nostalgia are playing this. They're playing two on B. Kenny pushing rather aggressively at mid, but I guess you can tr trust Kenny. He's a great player, along with Taz and Apex both holding the A bomb site. It looks like the terrorists are preparing for an apps push or release. And MX actually are both on the connector. So we're gonna see a stampede of terrorists now trying to take this A bomb site. Taz with the kill onto release with that nice farmass. Shot Neo gets another one. And Apex also gets on the score sheet, but Hoodsy G will pick up that Farmas and try and take down the CT, who is Overdrive rotating from the B bomb site. But Overdrive was too good for Hoods G. Rattlesnake takes down Apex. The bomb was planted, was it not? No, it, it is, and it will be diffused. So all of the Nexus were wiped out that round. Well played by the counter terrorists. I think I need to turn up my volume a little bit to make sure I can hear whether or not the bomb is planted. But anyways, 3-0 Nostalgia, obviously an Exis one map number one, which was Didus 2. To be fully honest, I've been covering this entire Prague challenge so far, as as, as far as an, as an Exis are confirmed. And the only maps I've seen are Didus 2 and D Mirage. <laughs> so, I don't know, it would have been nice... I mean, I'm not sure whether the, 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 the teams choose the maps, but it would be nice to have a little bit of a mixture going on. Anyway, so it's round number four. We obviously didn't see an early buy from a Nexus. Both teams now have money. This is where they're really tested. Both sides have proper guns now. Let's see what they're well and truly made of. Well, Snake and, Anex and uh, MX, sorry. In that mid area, throwing flashes out. We could see 
Another train of Anexis players, but Taz and Kenny have an answer to them as down they go. Apex from behind, Taz once again. And so far, it's absolute carnage for Nostalgy. Anexis getting torn to pieces for nil Nostalgy here at the Prague Challenge. So uh, I think, actually, I don't think, I know for a fact that Rattlesnake is the caller and captain for this Anexis side. So Anexis, without a doubt, will probably have to try and change something around. The question is, what? It looks like they're going to try and go more B-sided. Rattlesnake taking the bomb towards mid, Apex push mid, Rattlesnake had him in his back pocket, but by the looks of things, Kenny S doing what he does best, playing aggro off short, so 4 on 4, and Nexus did obviously get that early man advantage, they obviously couldn't capitalise on it, Rattlesnake with the bomb, he's been spotted, and Apex will have called that he was only on 20 HP, and Neo heard it, threw that nade, a great throw, Rattlesnake caught the nade, Neo takes down MX, and now it's all down to Hurricane Hughes, who has actually made, uh, managed to make his way onto this A bomb site here on Mirage. I don't think they know he's there. I think he's in a bit of an awkward situation right now, because in an ideal world, he'll want to save his AK, but he's already pushed the bomb site. The problem is uh, the rest of his teammates died. So he's making his way towards jungle. One of the CTs heard him, and that CT was Taz, and he took care of the business by... Uh, Nicely spraying down Husey on the A bomb site with the M4A4. I think it's called the M4A4 now in CSGO. Obviously, it used to be the M4A1 in both Counter Strike Source and Counter Strike 1.6. At the end of the day, it's an M4 something. Um, <laughs> obviously, an alternative to the AK 47. CT alternative to be exact. Um, but yet, yeah, so tough for an Exis so far. We've uh, discussed this map before, and it isn't CT-sided nor T-sided. It's quite 50-50, and that's been reflected from NX's scores on this map that we've seen throughout um, the entire day that this LAN has been played on, really. So 5-0 down against Nostalgie. Obviously not ideal Nostalgie, particularly considering the fact that they are a mixed team. You probably expect the actual team themselves to be slightly more successful than the mixed team. I would take nothing away from Nostalgia. Kenny S and Co. all terrific players, probably individual wise, probably just as good as any of the Nexus players are. Uh, anyways, back to uh, the kills. The Nexus find themselves a man up somehow, <laughs> despite the fact that they are on an eco. Take that away. Neo levels up the terms. He's playing short. Apex takes down Husey. And it's all down now to Hoods G and Release. Release? Funnily enough, making his way from behind, I'm not quite sure they know he's there. Well, now they do. And down goes release, and it's all up to this man here, Hugs G. Can he do something with that Glock? No, he cannot. Neo with the AK-47 lands that bullet in Hugs G's head. And uh, the Nexus are going to buy up now. And Nostalgie, well, let's have a look at Nostalgie's money. Well, Neo, $14,000. That's enough to buy a tank. But looking... At the score, Kenny S got uh, the scores, sorry, Kenny S nine for one, Neo seven for nil, Apex six for three, Taz four for three, and Overdrive on four for one. So it's nice to see that Overdrive's got four kills already. He obviously had he was on minus one kills for the whole first half of this final game. Let's see what is the best of three final game of Rattlesnake lands that very, very, very good orb shot onto Nostalgia's Orpa. So Orpa versus Orpa there. So he gives an exit that all important one man advantage. They, uh, they being an Nexus really need another round on the cards and release takes down Apex with a nice shot as he lands it with his AK-47. Hoods G not too far behind getting himself on the score sheet as well. 6-0. Neo takes down. Neo takes down both MX and Hoods G with some very nice M4 work but release has him in his back pocket. So 3 versus 1. Taz is by himself and now Taz just dropped to his death. So 6-1, uh, and that was the important round that Anexus needed. We obviously know that Nostalgie, well, particularly Neo, can afford a tank. So uh, they aren't going to have to eco after losing that gun round. They still are going to have guns. So if they were going to go ahead and win this round, then they wouldn't be that. Uh, they would uh, be fine economically. Anexus, however, probably not as much. So let's have a look at this terrorist split. We're still seeing the 2-1-2 split from Nostalgia with 2-1-B. Kenny playing short, short slash mid. 
Apex and Taz playing A. So Husey is going towards out by himself, probably be looking to make a bit of noise. MX, it's interesting to see what MX is doing underground. He's sort of holding, making sure, possibly trying to hear out from mid. Um, release still has the bomb. So, so far, so good as far as the Nexus and Nostalgia are concerned. Um, mainly Nostalgia because they just have to make sure the bomb doesn't go down. So, 60 seconds to go. As long as the bomb doesn't go down, then uh, Nostalgia don't really have to worry about much. And it looks like we're going to have a uh, an A split from Nexus here. Let's have a look at what's going on. MX makes his way from underground. He's going to try and make his way into that connector. No, actually, Hood G is going to boost him. And hang on a second. MX and Kenny S are going to come up right against each other. Release takes down Kenny S, actually. There's no need for MX to finish him off. And 1-0 to Nexus as it stands as far as the number of players are concerned. And we were right when we anticipated that A push. Rattlesnake and Yuzi getting on the score sheet. Yuzi makes it two for himself. Apex gets a consolation. But Overdrive is now stuck by himself. As an Nexus exploded all over that A bomb site, Overdrive all by himself now for nostalgia with that M4. What can our Russian billionaire do now? And if in case you're wondering why I'm calling him a Russian billionaire, is he a Russian billionaire? Probably not. As a matter of fact, he could be. I don't know. So um, it's just the rumours going on. With people asking who on earth is Overdrive? I've never heard of Overdrive. What's he doing playing with Kenny S and uh, Apex and Taz and Neo? He's actually a Russian Counter Strike 1.6 player who uh, is attending this LAN with this mixed team. Probably not a very good choice from him to uh, go straight back to the place he killed a terrorist. Or perhaps he expected that Anexus would expect that he would change his position and therefore Anexus wouldn't check his last few position. If that makes any sense. But anyway, 6-2 in favour of the Europeans. Obviously consisting of two French players, two Polish players, two Polska players, two Francais players, and one Russian player. And I'm not very good with Russian, so I'm not even uh, going to attempt to uh, say one in Russian, because I have no idea what it is. So Rattlesnake with the opening kill of the round onto Apex. Let's start. Uh, let's stop. Sorry, talking rubbish and start concentrating on the game. So a good, all-important kill by Rattlesnake. Obviously, being the author, he's always looking to open up the map. Taz with two kills as the Nexus attempted to drop down from Apps onto that A bomb site. Husey had something else up his sleeve, and so did Neo. There's three CTs now prepared. To actually, make that two CTs prepared to make their way onto this A bomb site. Through from jungle, Rattlesnake with a lovely kill there from his AWP. He's playing rather aggressively with his AWP. We know that one CT is making his way through CT spawn. Rattlesnake is playing rather aggressively. He's on 34 HP and the problem is he's, he's walking right into Overdrive's cross cr crossfire with Neo now. Rattlesnake, come on, you don't want to be doing that and that was a cheap kill. So Hoochie G's all by himself. He had the bomb. I don't know why Inexus didn't go and plant the bomb there. I mean, I, I felt they could have done. Um... Well, obviously, we knew that Overdrive and Neo had a crossfire going on. Rattlesnake being an AWPer on 34 HP is, you know, he's, you know, he is good with the AWP, but he probably shouldn't have pushed all that way by himself. But anyways, he's a professional player, not me. And uh, perhaps uh, his, the, uh, the, the, his reasoning behind the doing things like that is the reason why he is a professional player. And... Uh, I'm just an Anexus staff member. So anyways, Neo pushing short. Let's see what to, we're going to expect from the terrorists. Well, what we are going to expect is a dead release. So five versus four now in favor of the team in the lead. Nostalgia to be exact. We're still seeing the same two on two setup from the Europeans. As Hoods G gets taken down at mid. Thanks to Kenny S's M4, but MX and Husey. Husey going big with two kills. And all of a sudden, the Nexus find themselves one man ahead. Granted, Rattlesnake is on 1 HP and bleeding to death. But, you know, he's still alive, he's still running. And, uh, Husey is holding this A-bomb site, waiting for MX. Oh, no, it's Rattlesnake, actually, with the bomb. To make his way onto the bomb site. And I'll tell you what, he needs to really plant this. Come on, Rattlesnake, get that bomb down, what are you doing? He's peeking CT in jungle. But it's taken far too long. 30 seconds to go now. And if a CT pops up if a CT pops up in CT spawn, well, Rattlesnake is doomed. So MX really, in an ideal world, Anexus really will not have wanted 
uh, uh, MX to die because Rattlesnake only had 1 HP, but I tell you what, he can pull off orb shots like that with only 1 HP. So now 2 versus 1, if Rattlesnake gets dropped, Yuzi is still there. Overdrive spamming the boxes, the time is ticking. What can Overdrive pull out the bag now? Yuzi trying to take him out, does not succeed at doing so. Overdrive will take out Yuzi. And I think Overdrive might just try and attempt this defuse. Yuzi's going to go out there and peek him. Can Overdrive get the defuse? No, he cannot. Yuzi took him down with a, a nice AK bullet through that wooden box to get a very, very important round to an Exis and increase their tally to three rounds here in this map number two on D Mirage of the Prague Challenge 2013. Obviously, an Exis, for those of you guys who have just tuned in, did emerge victorious in map number one, which was Dido's 2. The exact score, I can't remember, but um, they did emerge victorious. So if an Exus were to win this map altogether, then they would be crowned as champions of Prague Challenge 2013. And at the moment, particularly for this round, I'll tell you what, they are playing like champions. Rattlesnake and another player getting on the score sheet. Make that release now. Kenny S as well, probably being the better player for nostalgia so far. They are in the lead, of course. Three versus two. And uh, now it's all down to Neo making his way around the back of that bomb site with the 5 7 takes down Yuzi. Can he take down release? He can! And Hoods G. Whew, that was a close one for an Exis. Lands that AK headshot onto Neo. 7 4. And things are getting exciting here at the Proud Challenge final. So 7 4 in favour of Nostalgia. We still don't see a full buy round from Nostalgia. They've, well, actually, it's more or more or less is Apex unfortunately on a Famas. However, he doesn't care. He's going to take out Rattlesnake in swift fashion and give his team a one-man advantage. So four versus five. The mass majority of the Nexus players near the B bomb site, but Hughes, however, still is in spawn. Probably a good idea that he goes back, or if they are going to try and keep one person to fake A, well. You don't want it to be the bomber. So, Anexis making their way very slowly into that upper's area. They know exactly that they're there. Overdrive takes down Hoods G. Can release take down Neo. No, he cannot. Release falls to his death. Now it's all down to MX and Husey to turn this 3 versus 2 situation into something. MX won't turn it into anything because he's dead. No, Husey, what can he do? He does have the bomb, obviously. Nostalgia keeping Apex near that A bomb site because they haven't actually spotted Husey, I don't think. Problem is if he is gonna gonna try and plant the bomb now, well, they're gonna hear him planting the bomb. So let's see what Husey's approach to this game is gonna be and I'll tell you what, Husey could pull something out of the bag now as he pushes this inside kitchen area, takes down Apex and uh the CT is Oh dear. <laughs> it looked good, but Kenny has his little Window jump there was uh, didn't go exactly how how uh, I think Husey had it planned out in his mind, and uh, we see a Nexus losing another round. So nostalgia make it eight, and uh, I think they'll be happy with this half so far. Obviously, a Nexus due to losing that for being forced to eco or deco really. Once again, we do have a full buy. Well, it's not really a full buy, it's more or less the same weapons from Nostalgia. Bar Overdrive, I believe he had an M4 last time round, and he now has a FAMAS, but he does know that an Exus are on a deco, so a FAMAS should suffice for this round at least. Let's have a look at what the terrorists are doing. Well, they're all waiting outside this A bomb site. They're going to slowly make their way into the A bomb site. Taz with a very nice M4 headshot takes down both. Hoods G and Rattlesnake, Kenny S gets in on the action by dropping Yuzi, and Neo comes big with two quick kills there. Very, very quick round. Well, Nexus tried to take it slow there, but uh, really they didn't have the quality, they didn't have the, not the quality with regards to players, they didn't have the quality with regards to weapons and armor, they just got absolutely demolished. Um, quite simply due to the fact that Nostalgia's weapons uh, were far more far more capable of the weapons a Nexus had. So Rattlesnake in an interesting area now, open in apps. So it's not something you see every day, but you know, if he thinks it's exactly what he needs to do, then let's see what'll come of it. Release 
looking to push mid. We know that two CTs have already pushed mid, and I like the way that these nostalgia players well played by release. Very nice shot lands that AK bullet onto Apex. Release makes it two. Knows where the third CT is. Hoods G will finish him off. I was going to say that I like how Nostalgia are playing rather aggressively. Um, not really giving Anexus much breathing space. But I tell you what, that backfired and release will make it three for himself. After take, picking off Overdrive, sorry, with a very nice AK-47 headshot. Some nice sportsmanship between both teams. Apex telling release. A compliment in release with regards to a nice shot. And that's what we like to see both here at a, at, at an Exus and in Counter Strike in general. Nice sportsmanship. So we see a half buy from Nostalgia. Uh, Taz has a shotgun, so I'm going to view him and let's see what will come of him. Actually, nothing will because none of the T's are making their way towards Taz. So, Hoods G at mid with his AK-47, where the rest of the T's as well as mid. Rattlesnake chilling out near B and Husey holding near the jungle area. Actually, not the jungle area, near the connector area on the A-bomb site. So, Anex is playing patient. They know that Nostalgia on paper shouldn't have any weapons. Kenny S might have picked up whatever MX had now. MX really shouldn't have got taken down by Kenny S. Release. We'll take down Kenny S. That's what he gets for killing Release's teammate, Revenge. And it looks like Release is going to make his way towards the B-bomb site as Neo picks off Rattlesnake on the A-bomb site. Hang on a second. No, it was Rattlesnake who was near B. And it was, we can confirm, Neo near B. So we're going to see Hoods G, Husey, and Release make their way towards the A-bomb site very slowly. One person from each angle. It seems like Hoods G is going to try and push Connector. The problem is... That CT is right behind him. Neo finishes him off. Usually pushes apps. Apex takes him down. And now releases by himself. He does have 100 HP. Can he pull this 3 versus 1 clutch off? I'll tell you what. The CT is a heavy tag. Release with a very nice AK-47 shot onto Apex. And we were making jokes about Taz's um, shotgun. But uh, it did get that final uh, final round for Nostalgia. So 10-5 to Nostalgia at the end of this first half here. On the second map, looking good and solid for the mixed team, for Nostalgia. Probably should be expecting slightly better from an Exis, considering they are an actual team. We are obviously waiting for one more Nostalgia player to make his way back onto the server. No idea where he has gone. Who's missing? We've got Apex, Kenny. We're missing, we're missing Neo, aren't we? Neo for some reason, is no longer on the server. So far, a very good game. Let's have a look at the scores. Kenny, 15 kills, 8 deaths, topping it for Nostalgia. Apex coming in with 10 kills, 12 deaths. Taz with 10 kills, 10 deaths. Obviously with a picture of Taz, the cartoon character, the Tasmanian Devil. Um, and Overdrive not doing too badly. He's got a positive KD ratio, so fair play to him. He's starting to get the hang of Counter-Strike Global Offensive with 8 kills, 7 deaths. Hang on a second, Overdrive has left the server as well, so this could take a little bit more time. Hopefully not too long. Being told that this could take quite a bit of time for whatever reason. Obviously, there have been quite a few technical difficulties so far at this LAN event. So, we will uh, get back to you guys and go live once again as soon as Nostalgia have five players and they are live themselves. So, we'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, guys, welcome back. Um, the two Nostalgia players who had some technical difficulties have returned and so have we so uh, we're going to carry on this map number two of the Prague Challenge 2013 final 
Obviously between Nostalgia and Nexus. So it is 10-5 in this first half to Nostalgia. Looks like Nexus sort of somewhat anticipated the B push. Release, very nice shot. Rattlesnake makes it 2 to himself. Can he make it 3? We're still watching Release and Hoods G. MX gets that kill onto Taz. And we've still got our eye on Release. And Release will get his second with a very, very nice USB shot. Um, quite interesting there. Anexis stacked B and Nostalgia went B. Um, Hurricane Husey writes, hello VG Rush. Kenny replies, VG, LDLC, all right. And MX says, Fish Rush. Release, release, says, Baguette Rush. Anyways, why am I reading what they're saying? Um, it's quite amusing, actually. But anyways, uh, no doubt about it. Anexis had a, knew exactly what Nostalgia were going to do, and it definitely paid off for him. So he's going to give him a few more rounds now to hopefully better their case, try and make their way back into this round. Uzi with a kill, Rattlesnake with another as the terrorists do a suicide rush into this A bomb site. Rattlesnake makes it two, Hugs G with the ballast. Overdrive, the only kill for the terrorists so far, onto Husey. And now it's all down to Overdrive, who's got his crosshair on MX, but Rattlesnake had his crosshair on Overdrive first. So 10 7, phew, those were two quick rounds, weren't they? Round 18 already. 10-7, Anexis fighting their way back into this game. And now the question is, what can Nostalgia do? They obviously are at a disadvantage. We're seeing an all more or less FAMAS buy by the by Anexis, from what I remember. Actually, Husey has an interesting SMG, and Rattlesnake has an M4. So my bad about that. Husey gets the first kill onto Apex. Hoods G as well. Where are all these kills happening? Neo pushing mid. Hoods G will take good care of him. And both Yuzi and Hoods G getting two kills apiece in that round. And I think Nostalgia, well, considering they're a mix, I think, to be fully honest, no offence to them. I don't think they had any idea what they were doing. They knew they lost a pistol round. They knew they had a f they were a few rounds ahead. So they probably just wanted to get out, get those rounds out of the way, and uh, get this, get, well, get these, la get those last few rounds over and done with. Sorry about that. Anyways, Yuzi playing aggro, pushing up mid. Knows exactly where Neo is. He's pushed him. He's a bit, but he did get a kill. So Rattlesnake pushing off short, getting a kill himself, and so far so good for an exit. Not looking good for Nostalgia. Overdrive starting to change my opinion, but still I stand by what I said. Rattlesnake gets number two for himself. Yuzi and Hudsji also the other counter terrorists on the score sheet. Now it's all down to Kenny S. Can he pull off a four vs one clutch? Obviously the ex very games and current LDLC player. He does have the bomb, which is good on his behalf. And funnily enough, guys, well, Release is the only CT on B. He's not actually playing directly on the bomb site. So Hoods G here has more or less got A covered. Kenny S is going to try and... Actually, or is he going to go underground? No, he's going to carry on towards apps. 45 seconds left and counting until the clock ticks. But hang on a second. Where's Release stood? Release pops out and finishes Kenny S off. How does he pull off shots like that? I don't know. Good shot by release, and what was 10-5 is now 10-9. So looking solid for both sides. As far as the comeback is concerned, looking very solid for an Nexus. Emphasize on the fact that this is maybe perhaps slightly more CT sided this map? I don't know. Anyways, this is round number four of this second half, so both teams have weapons. You'll be delighted to hear. Actually, no, they don't. Nostalgia have gone for a deco and release of nade has dealt damage. It looks like Nostalgia are gonna start try and stampede into this B bomb site as release takes down two. He's anticipating even more terrorists to make their way towards this B bomb site. Spots overdrive. Can he finish him off? Yes he can. He spots the bomb down and release with three kills as it stands, exploding all over Nostalgia. I don't think they quite know what's hit them. Hoods G is spotted last two remaining terrorists, so you'd assume Anexus will start to close down on them now, and I think MX more or less knows where one of the terrorists is. However, that terrorist was Neo, and he has intelligently made his, his way away, and he is going to creep behind Rattlesnake. Oh dear, what's Neo doing? Is he going to attempt to knife Rattlesnake? No, he's not, but a very good kill by Neo. Rattlesnake had no idea what's gonna hap what was happening. Release got surrounded, and all of a sudden, this round is looking winnable. For nostalgia, it's Neo all by himself now with this big green gun, the AVP, the AWP, or the Magnum as referred to by some people, which was default name in the Counter Strike series. But MX gets the job done and 10-10, and the Nexus, well, the comeback is on. 
Very good Counter-Strike being played by Nexus at the moment. And finally, we are going to see a buy round coming from the French. Well, the third French. Third Polish. Well, not really. It doesn't leave a third Russian, but you guys get the point. <laughs> two French, two Polish, and a Russian player for this Nostalgia Mix team, of course. Up here against the old British Nexus lineup. So the bomb is B sided. And Taz is the player with the bomb. Overdrive making his way towards the A bomb site in apps. He's very, very close to Husey. And I think this is just a matter of who's going to make their move first or who's going to make them the mistake first of making uh, a footstep heard. I think Hughes definitely isn't walking there. And Overdrive will punish him. Apex gets another kill onto his G elsewhere on the map. Rattlesnake lands the AWP shot onto Apex. But Nostalgia, because of that, find themselves. Selves one man ahead, overdrive granted, only on 14 HP, so not much, but 14 or 12, sorry, is better than nothing. Released by himself on the B bomb site, MX playing in CT spawn between, you know, both the A and B bomb site. So what are the terrorists going to do here? Neo making his way towards MX, finishes him off with a lovely shot. With that AK-47, and they know exactly where Rattlesnake is, but Rattlesnake lands that shot onto overdrive. Where are the T's? He's obviously representing terrorists. Going to actually decide to plant this bomb. It looks like they're going to try and plant on the A bomb site. Release coming from behind to pay, take off Neo as he tried to take down his teammate Rattlesnake. So, uh, Taz with a nice, ki nice kill onto Rattlesnake. Bit of a tongue twister at the moment. And what can Release pull out the bag? He knows exactly where Taz is. Doesn't know where Kenny S is. Kenny S though on 17 HP. So if Release can actually take down Taz, well, we might just, just might. Have of two versus one clutch from a Nexus, which really would be massive for them. It would put them in the lead for the first time in this map. But unfortunately for release, Kenny S had it covered and landed that big green gun bullet right onto release his stomach. So 10-11 or 11-10 in favour of Nostalgie. We've seen a buy round, I believe. Yep, it is a buy round from the CTs, despite losing, which is good. The T's look like they're going to do a quick rush into this A bomb site. Now, what can they do? Let's have a look at one of them. Kenny S with that first shot onto MX to take him down. Yep, I do believe that was on the A bomb site. It was Apex and Taz preparing this attack by dispersing smokes all around the bomb site. They know Hoodsy G is playing underneath Falcony. Rattlesnake lands a shot onto Apex. Can Rattlesnake make it too? He knows exactly where Taz is. He can't. Hoodsy G goes big with two kills. He knew where he was. Hoodsy G was far too good for him. Taz gets on the score sheet alongside Neo. And now it's all down to Neo to try and rescue this round at least for his own team. So can he pull this two versus one clutch off? He does have an AK-47 in his hands. Rattlesnake playing CT spawn that up and Uzi playing between both bomb sites in the mid area actually no he's in apps where is he he's making yep they are going to surround neo so hughes is going to make his way towards the a bomb site from apps rattlesnake knows exactly where neo is the problem is neo has no idea that hughes is making his way from behind him but neo spots him but hughes sends him to his grave and down goes neo and a very very good shot there by hughes with his m4 to to uh, even out the scoreline 11 11. Obviously, if Nexus do win this map, then guess what? They will be the champions of the Prague Challenge 2013, or District Prague, or whatever you want to call it. But it is referred to mainly as the Prague Challenge here, live from Prague. Obviously, there were a few Czech Republican teams who were, were quite a handful for Nexus, but they did get the job done at the end of the day. So, more or less buys from both sides. Apex and Overdrive with Galils, but Nostalgia really want to try and not give that many rounds away because they know if they lose another round well they're in trouble because Anexus will probably go on and capitalize so Neo is going to make his way towards Yuzi, Yuzi will finish him off to level out the number of players so 4-4 four, four. and it looks like we're going to have an A push MX playing under balcony as the T's run onto this A bomb site MX tries to take down Taz he cannot and it's 4 versus 2 now a very 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 well done from Nostalgia good teamwork they uh, timed that A rush to perfection. Release now. Is he going to go for it? I don't think they will go for it, to be fully honest. Is he making his way up through connector? Obviously, talking to release as well. I don't think they're going to go for it. I think they're going to go for more or less exit frags here. Both 
Yuzi and release. But Yuzi falls to his death. Thanks to a beautiful Kenny S shot with that AVP. And now, it's a game of cat and mouse. And Nostalgia going to try and hunt down release. Fortunately for release, he's running right into one of the terrorists. He will take down Kenny S though. Is he going to run into the other terrorist? No, the other terrorist uh, ran away himself. So Kenny S lost that up. But Kenny S has more than enough money to uh, buy himself another one. So take a look at the scoreline. Rattlesnake, 19 to 15. Release 20 kills, 16 deaths. Husey, 19 kills, 16 deaths. Hudge G with 12 kills, 16 deaths. And uh, MX with 8 kills, 16 deaths. So quite a poor KDR of 0.5 there from MX. Kenny S topping it for his team, 20 kills, 15 deaths. Then Apex, then Taz, then Neo, then Overdrive. So Hood G gets the opening kill of the round onto Taz with that M4. So 5 on 4 now in favour of Anexus. Neo preparing uh, what looks to be a fancy smoke and flash as he prepares to push his connector. Will take down Hughes. However, he is going to get pushed by Hood G and Hood G gets two big kills. Rattlesnake with another kill there. Kenny S knows exactly where Hood G is. Brilliant no scope by Kenny S. How does he do it? But Rattlesnake, the battle of the Orpers there. One Orper got one over another Orper. Rattlesnake took down Kenny S. And oh my, this is a close game. Really, I have no idea. You know who is going to win this this map? I'll tell you what. If Nostalgia managed to pull this map out of the bag, and we go to uh, the third map, which will be Inferno. I've been informed. Then we're going to have one heck of a set of games, uh, one heck of a final on our hands. I'm going to say set of games, and then again, um, we would have already watched two maps. But anyways, Kenny S pu pushes MX. MX, well, was just really fooling around, but perhaps Kenny S went one step too far as Hood she made him pay. Release playing B by himself as he prepares for this sudden charge of terrorists onto this B bomb site. Release makes it one for himself. Release gets two. Can he make it three? No, he can't. Yes, he can actually. Rattlesnake is the one who got the third kill there on the top right of your screen, but Release did eventually make it three for himself. So a, a colossal round from Release there. Doing what he does best. He just picks up that M4 and absolutely slices anyone coming his way. And the next is need three more rounds to obviously win this game. So can a Nexus pull it off and emerge as champions of the Prague Challenge 2013? Obviously something the Nexus organization will be over the moon about. Nostalgia probably not too bothered. They'll take whatever consolation money they get for finishing second place. Obviously aren't a team. Really, as far as the bookies are concerned, the Nexus should, should be winning this game, uh, or should win this game at least. But anyway, this is Counter-Strike and anything can happen. So what the T's doing here? Three at mid. Taz will get the first kill on to release at B. Kenny S playing short. Looking with that up and MX evens out the number of players. It looks like we're going to have a B push now. Apex making his way onto that B bomb site. And I think he's going to make his way into Kitchen. Neo takes down Rattlesnake. He was actually in Kitchen. And Apex finally gets that kill onto MX who was causing havoc on that A bomb site. Apex spots Hud's G. He was rotating. Well, he definitely has spotted him now. He does have an AWP for whatever reason. We don't see him using it very often, but we know that he can do relatively well with it, but not well enough as Apex brings him to a to a uh, to his death. So now Husey all by himself. We haven't seen Husey attempt a lot of clutch situations, and I mentioned this in the last map on Dedos 2, where he uh, could have gone for a 2v1, and I didn't really feel like an X really were obliged to save. Obviously, we all know what Husey is capable of, or at least was capable of back in the day. Um, I'm not sure whether they're not really, he's not taking these 2v1s on or 3 versus ones on because money is an issue. We know that money isn't an issue, though, we can see from there. Um, so I don't know why he didn't go for it, but it's up to him. Maybe a lack of self-confidence, I don't know. But whatever it is, Anex is going to have to put that to one side. And make sure they get the next three rounds. If Nostalgia get the next three rounds, well, I'll tell you what, they will be over the moon to take this final game here at the Prague Challenge to a third map. So, a buy round as expected from both sides. Looks like we're going to have a mixed A push now, are we? No. Well, Nostalgia have taken control of mid, and the Nexus really aren't playing that aggressive. They're letting Nostalgia play, and that can, you know, either, that can go both ways for a Nexus. Because, in a way, it allows a Apex to make his way onto the A-bomb site and cause problems like he did just there. Can he take down Hugs G? Yes, he can. Apex 
explodes all over the A-bomb side by himself. Yuzi comes in from apps to even it out. Three versus two now. It's all down to Yuzi and Rattlesnake to try and save this all-important round for an Exis. Little does Yuzi know that Overdrive is making his way right from behind him. Overdrive will take out Yuzi and it's all down to this man here with the big green gun. Rattlesnake who is going to fall back as it seems. And try and save that up. Oh, 40 seconds to go. What's he going to do then? Let's be having your Rattlesnake. Let's see what Rattlesnake can pull out the bag. Looks like he's just making his way back to uh, towards T-spawn. He is going to get taken down by Taz. Taz, good anticipation there. And Nostalgy find themselves in the lead. Nostalgy get one more round. They will guarantee at least a draw for them. Actually, no, they won't because uh, I believe there will be overtime. So, they, obviously, they'll guarantee a draw in normal time, but then we're going to have extra time or overtime. Unfortunately, no golden goal. Um, poor joke there, so I do apologize. So, we're seeing an eco from an Exus. I'll tell you what, that's exactly what they didn't want to happen. That's going to give Nostalgia 15 rounds. Unless they can get a massive eco round. Let's G with the massive kill. We're talking about massive eco round. Let's G goes massive with a nice kill there. Picked up an AK. He's on 40 HP though. Perhaps he should have given that AK to a CT who did have more HP. I don't know. He's a professional, not me. So what are the T's going to do now? They obviously know that Nostalgia, uh, that Anexus, sorry, are going to be on a deco. Looks like they're going to go for a sudden push onto this A bomb site through connector. And uh, apps. Overdrive has been spotted by Husey. And Neo makes his way. Actually, no, that was a good pick onto short as Rattlesnake dropped down. Overdrive still in the apps area. Four versus three in favor of, funnily enough, a favor of the team who was eco in. Make that three versus three as Neo lands a very nice AK shot onto release to uh, finish him off. So three on three, Kenny S with an AWP. They're trying to clear out this A bomb site. Hurricane Husey pulled something out of his sleeve to take down Neo. But Kenny S and Overdrive with a killer piece. Hoods G now one versus one. Can Hoods G take down Kenny S? Kenny S with the pistol. Can Hoods G get an all important round? Well, why is it important? Well, because he'll keep an X in the game and prevent Nostalgia from getting draw. At the same time, we've got to bear in mind that, Hood, that Hoods G and Co. were ecoing, but Hoods G could not pull it out of the bag. And Kenny S, he's a brilliant player. And he confused Hoods G all over the park there to get the all important 15 mark for Nostalgia. And if I tell you what, if Nostalgia get the next round, well, they have won the second map, and we're going to have to have a third map here and a Nexus. Well, so they look good at one point, but to be fully honest, losing 10-5 as terrorists, probably, you know, despite the small comeback they had going on early on in the half, it just wasn't good enough. And it looks like Nostalgia going to take this. Apex, Taz, and Neo getting a killer piece, and now it's all down to release an MX. And I think the Nexus more or less know that this is over done with. As release flashes himself and drops to his death. Full time, and we ha we will have a third map to decide the winner of this Prague Challenge 2013. Stay tuned to NXS TV.